Hi there. Today I'm going to do a video on how to enable the Wi-Fi on your Windows 7 computer. Um, I know some folks have a problem with, uh, you know, going out and buying a USB wireless um, adapter and putting it in and having connectivity problems and so on and so forth. 99% um, of the time it has to deal with the services. So. What I'm going to do is uh, we'll start off down here. As you can see here, I've got a, a hardwired icon on my uh, taskbar there. I'm connected via an RJ45 or a Cat5 E line to a router. Um, if we right click on this, um, select Open Network, Sharing Center, you'll see here Local Area Network. Click over here on adapter settings. As you can see here, wireless network connection is grayed out and the wireless is not available. So, first things first, um, what you want to do is make sure that your um, wireless is installed. So, plug in your dongle, install the software. Generally, you install the software first, then plug in the dongle. But, anyways, as you can see, here's mine here. Device is disabled. Not to worry, I'm going to show you how to enable that. Um, under the advanced tab, your settings, make sure that your correct value, maximum speed, if you have an N adapter, you want to make sure that you have um, that selected. It may be a little different. Um, your selections, you might have more features and options than I have here, but it'll be relatively the same. So we can leave this now. Right click on this, select enable. So now we're enabled, and as you can see down here though, we still have no, no wireless, no provision. So now what we're going to do is go to your control panel, administrative tools, services. Alternatively, you can hit uh, the Windows R key, which will give you your run dialog box down here. And you can type in services. Oh, there it is. MSC, which will bring you up the services window as well, either way. Uh, sort by name, we're interested in this one right here, the fourth one down, the WLAN auto config, and here you can see it's disabled, so you want to right click on that, select properties, description, the WLAN SVC service provides a logic required to configure and discover connect to and disconnect from a wireless local area network as defined by the IEEE 802.11 standards. It also contains a logic to turn your computer into a software access point so that other devices or computers can connect to your computer wirelessly using the WLAN adapter. So meaning um, you can use your actual wireless adapter to broadcast a Wi-Fi signal as well. So an example, you could have a, an RJ45 wire coming from your router or a, a wired connection to your computer, but have a blue, uh, sorry, a wireless and adapter plugged in uh, to the same computer. And what you could do is liaison the wired connection now to the Wi-Fi or the wireless uh, portion of your computer basically making your computer broadcast a signal so that tablets and phones and other devices, wireless devices that you have, maybe even a wireless laptop, um, can connect to that. Um, so which is a nice feature. Um, for example, maybe you have a LAN system and a laptop. So you have the LAN system uh, plugged in uh, with a wire to the router, and then you have a wireless and adapter in your LAN system. So you ad hoc that basically 
and get it to broadcast a Wi-Fi signal that in turn you can use your laptop uh, wireless to connect uh, to the internet and so on and so forth. So sort of a handy feature. But anyways, what you want to do now is uh, click automatic, hit apply, and click start. Make sure the service is running. You can close this window then, and you'll see here now it says started and automatic. Now we can leave here, close all this. Over here now, as you can see, we still don't have our wireless. Now what we're going to do is connect. And now you can see here I have two wireless networks that I can connect to. Um, someone's named their SSID. This is a virus. Um, yeah, great. I just feel like clicking on that. And <laughs> Anyways, Guy King Rear, connect. And down here now, as you can see, we have internet access on Guy King Rear and on my Guy King Wire. So, um, let's just open this back up. And there you can see it here. You click on uh, full map, give it a second to do a little map here. And there's my setup. So, the machine that I'm currently using is called Chadian and this is the wireless switch that I have in the back or router I should say this is my router in the living room so um, furthermore what we can do now is um, show you guys something at the command prompt here um, what you can do too to get the command prompt is hit the Windows R key, the Run dialog box will come up, type in CMD, hit enter, you'll get this. Um, probably a little different, I've customized mine a touch. I'm going to show you the net sh command. Uh, WLAN is uh, what we want to look at and we want to show all. And this will show us all the information on there everything you want to know about your wireless uh, sorry your SSDs SSIDs same thing um, You can also type for your local area or wired ones. Oh, okay. Let's start that service. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, and now let's try the, the wire one again here um, wasn't expecting that actually and here's all your stuff here your wired LAN anyways guys um, hope that helps that shows you how to start your wireless service. Same thing now, if uh, you want to turn it back off, what you can do is uh, go back to your administrative tools, go to your services, go to WLAN. Um, you can also um, you can use the uh, service start and stop commands from the command uh, line that you just saw me use there for the dot three service, um, SC for service and you can specify a start or a stop for the WLAN SVC as well from the command prompt um, rather than going this way um, but you just like I said come back in here you can double click this or right click it and disable stop 
apply. Okay. The reason I do that is because I'm wired in. Um, there's several reasons too. Um, running the wireless and my hardwire at the same time um, was actually, believe it or not, causing me a great deal of blue screens. Um, so I was having bus issues um, running the two of them concurrent. So that's why I've disabled the uh, the wireless. Um, what we can do now is go back into our sharing center, go back to our adapters and I just disable this and turn it on only when I need it. So um, what happens is, you know, maybe uh, periodically our um, internet service provider, you know, once every six or seven or eight months, uh, our modem will go offline for a couple of hours or something. And in this day and age, we all need our email quickly or uh, need to get out uh, some communication. We also have a magic jack voice over IP. So what will happen is I'll use the data from my cell phone and tether it um, to my computer and you know thus connecting and getting my email and so on and so forth so I hope this video helps you guys um, thanks for watching and have a great day